In this video we're going to take a found DXF and we're going to prepare it for cutting with origin. So it'll be just quickly scaling and color coding everything appropriately. Um, so we have Adobe Illustrator open. This is one example of software that can be used to do this. Um, so I'm going to kick off uh, a new file in Illustrator using our shape a template. So we'll um, have a link down below for this. So it just opens a new file here. So it's called Untitled 16. So when we save, we won't be replacing that old one, the template. Um, we just have the right colors and the right scale set up ready to go. So now I'm going to place uh, our found DXF. This is just an example file. It's pretty simple. Uh, we can put that kind of anywhere. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to use the zoom tool to zoom in and take a look at everything. Um, and now over here in the layers menu, you may have to open that up under window if need be, layers. Um, I'm just going to open up this, this layer and I see a group initially. So, uh, so that I can select the individual parts of this, you'll notice at the moment, if I click out in space, I deselect everything. But uh, if I click any one element in this group, it selects all of the elements in the group. So I actually want to go object, ungroup. So now there's no hierarchy inside of there. So uh, I can select just some of these elements. So you'll see them highlighted red over here. Okay, so first up, I'm going to zoom in and look at this diagram. Um, so that's what's going to show us how this thing's structured. A lot of DXFs won't include anything like this. This is just added so you can see what the 3D object looks like. There's some little rabbits down in these corners. Uh, but everything else is straight exterior cuts by the looks of it. So it's designed for a half inch plywood with quarter inch deep rabbits. So that's all the info we need for this. So I'm going to zoom out, holding down the Alt button with the zoom tool selected. Click, click, click. Um, and now we don't need this anymore. So delete that diagram. Select it with the Select tool and then hit the Delete button. Uh, so now it's just a matter of going through all of these remaining elements um, with a view to making them the right size and the right color. So we'll select this top one. Uh, now we want to cut on the outside of this line. Currently it's got no fill and just a black stroke. So that's not what we're after. Um, we will use our eyedropper tool to select a color. And then over here this one says exterior cut. If I select that, it's now a fill, so the interior of the shape is filled black uh, and this dash, this red slash through the uh, stroke means there's no outline, no stroke. So that's exactly what we need for uh, an outside cut. Same applies to this shape. Um, so once again, I drop a tool, select my exterior cut. Uh, now these last two are going to be a little bit interesting. Um, there's a couple of little tricks we'll need to make them work. Firstly, uh, I'm going to select all of these top elements. So I'm holding down shift at the moment to select multiple things. So I've got the select tool, holding down shift, and I'm just trying to find these little rabbit shapes. So we've selected all those elements. Uh, now we need to go object. We can go edit, copy and then edit, paste in place. So uh, regular just paste puts it kind of centered randomly. Paste in place keeps track of where it was when you copied it. So uh, paste in place. Uh, now you'll notice all these new ones at the top here that we can turn off just for the moment whilst we try to combine all these together. So um, now we're gonna use a, this is actually a really powerful technique called uh, shape builder. So uh, I'm going to select all these and we're going to try and combine these into a uh, single silhouette to, uh, to be our, our outside profile, the boundary of the object that we want to cut. So um, then we go over here to the Shape Builder tool. Then I choose black and you'll notice now it does this weird dotted highlight. So if I click here and start dragging, it, it's going to combine all of these elements together and color them this way. So what's really interesting here is there's actually a bunch of, like if I hide some of these, see how these are all made up of tiny little facets? 
Uh, each piece is a separate piece, so that usually wouldn't become a single solid shape. That's important to keep track of. Um, so I just need to reselect that one. And then combine all these guys, same process, click and drag. It'll take a little bit of getting the hang of this process, but it's, uh, it's actually very powerful once you figure it out. And then these ones, I'm going to select these over here to the right. So uh, in the same way that I can select them in the viewport, um, so I go back to the selection tool. Uh, I can select them here by holding down shift. I can also select them over, over here to the right of my layers menu, holding down shift. So that's all four of those selected. And I'm going to make them cut interiors. So with the eyedropper tool, cut interior. So cut interior is a black stroke and a white fill. Um, so, so long as uh, these are only half an inch wide and our cut is quarter of an inch, uh, we'll remove all this material in one, one pass. So uh, that's good to go now. All I need to do is delete this element and then save this. Save as. It's going to default to the Adobe Illustrator format. We want SVG and I'll save it as V3. Save. Um, don't need to worry about these, uh, we handle all of that. That's now ready to cut on Origin. Just put it on a thumb drive and you're good to go. Okay, we take that file we just exported, drop it on a thumb drive, plug it in the side, and uh, we're good to go. I've already scanned this workspace, so I'm double clicking the screen uh, to zoom out and look at that. Um, and I'll just hit the plus button and we'll go to our USB drive to find the file that we dropped there. So uh, here we go. Cleat screwdriver. Um, now you'll see I can move Origin around. It's behaving like a mouse. I'm choosing where I place this. Uh, we'll, we'll get into more detail with this with, a, uh, with the air cut video, but uh, we'll just do an air cut of this um, one of these shapes just to show you uh, how it behaves. Um, you'll see here the green button that matches up with my green button um, on the handle. So uh, once I'm happy with the position, I choose place. And now you'll see uh, the SVG is now locked to the workspace. So uh, I'm moving independently of it when I move origin. Uh, once again, double click. So I just choose where I want to cut. Currently I'm in design mode. So if I wanted to add any more shapes, I'd do that here. Um, but now we want to cut. So uh, you'll see the, uh, the tool paths are generated on the fly based on my settings here. So first up, I'm telling it I'm air cutting. Uh, this is the, the info that came in from our color coding. So it automatically recognizes that I want to cut the inside uh, of this little rabbit area. Um, note we don't quite get to the edges there. Um, we'd have to chisel them out or edit the file to expand that if we wanted. We have no offset and we've got half an inch uh, diameter cutter. So that's the, uh, the dark gray area there is showing us what the cutter is going to remove. Um, so uh, you'll see here the green tells me uh, the green button is going to start cutting. So I'll, I'll do exactly that. So it plunges and then locks on the line. Um, and I'll just quickly go through this. We won't get hung up on details. So this is showing it uh, cutting my inside, uh, inside line shape. And I'm keeping an eye on the uh, tape health meter up here to make sure I can see tape. So you'll notice if I turn away uh, from the tape, it's unable to track, but turning towards the tape, I can track. That's just a thing to keep an eye on. Always make sure the camera can see tape. So uh, another plunge using the green button on the handle, which uh, the screen tells me uh, that will go into auto mode and the orange button will retract. So then orange button to retract. Uh, now we cut the outside. So this is the black element we made in Illustrator. Um, so you'll notice I'm going the opposite direction. There'll be more on that later. Um, and I just follow the line along carefully. So it's a pretty straightforward process, as you can see, going from design. I just did auto mode there with the green button. Uh, to cut. So uh, if I set this to quarter inch, that would have just cut quarter of an inch into the ply. Um, so double click. So that's that element uh, air cut.